Hello, I'm Ryan Johnson. And I'm Nathan yeah! Johnson. <laughs> and this is What's in My Bag. Let's see here. Well, to start with, so this was our, our grandfather's oh, favorite god. movie. Oh my god. Perché solo le polacche hanno questo fuoco negli occhi. Naso, va bene, mio zio, eh? I feel like Nino Rota has in some way inspired all the music that we do. Yeah, um, together, that's, but that's pretty um, awesome. But I also think this is an amazing example of concentrating on one theme through an entire movie. La, uh, yeah. la, 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 <laughs> Put that in your bag. No, this is yours. <laughs> it's beautiful. Weird Al Yankovic. Which is the natural lady. progression, <laughs> I think. Yeah. What's funny is how like so many music styles and music genres I was I became a fan of through listening to Al's parodies of yeah. them. And so and the musicianship is actually fantastic. This is Polka Party, which is a great one. It's got <laughs> Dog Eat Dog is, it's sort of like a riff on sort of uh, David Burns style, like, but it's like a guy in an office thing and there's a line in it. Just one more jelly donut. They'll never miss it. No, they'll never miss it. And I, I thought it was the funniest thing when I was a kid. One more jelly donut. They'll never miss it. No, they'll never miss it. All right, what do we got next thing? Griggs uh, Peregrine Sweets. <laughs> actually got me into this record sort of in preparation for Knives Out when we were talking about what the feel of the music should be. We knew we wanted to go strings, we knew we wanted to go really stabby and sharp and um, and so Ryan, I actually hadn't gotten into his music Greg. before. We had in the Hall of the Mountain King, we tempt the uh, after the will reading when yeah. he was chasing after Marta for a while, we had used a few different versions of in the Hall of the Mountain King. <laughs> This is a Folkways release of a Dave Von Ronk album, which is fantastic. He's kind of the guy that um, Inside Lou and Davis was mm -hmm. loose, not really based based on, but kind of inspired that movie. Um, and he's great. They took him to the graveyard, but they didn't bring him back. Yes, he been on the job too long. And then this is a live recording of his that I haven't heard that I just got to. Never find a sweet, never find a sweet. Okay, this is an all-timer for me. Um, ah. Sort of loosely connected with Knives Out, but um, Everything in Its Right Place is my speaker listening song. Mm. And anytime I'm testing a new studio, that is the song that I know probably better than any other song. I've listened to it a million times on every configuration possible, and that is the song that, that lets me know everything is, is in its right place. Doesn't have knives out though. It does not have Amnesi knives out. Amnesiac has knives out. Yeah. So what the hell are you doing with this? Well, I, I thought I'd be You're like, off brand. I'd be buddy. super controversial. I just got Joanna Newsom. Uh, I, don't I don't have this on vinyl, and I this has nothing to do with the movie. I just love Joanna Newsom. Oh, did you get that? That was the other one. I was like, mm, we did not coordinate <laughs> this. <We did> not. <laughs> I've probably done more writing to Joanna Newsom's music than anyone else. I think she's just an incredible lyricist. I think her music is haunting. She's the I best. Think she's an incredible, incredible artist. When we were uh, doing The Brothers Bloom, there's a lot of harp music in The Brothers Bloom, and there's a scene where Rachel Weisz plays the harp, and um, 
we are such big Joanna Newsom fans. And we're, <laughs> we're, really? we're trying to figure out we're a way like, that we can get to play the harp. Yeah. To play the harp. Um, and, and we failed. Uh, uh, I don't think we, we, we rightfully decided, we, well, yeah, let's not bother Joanna Newsom. <laughs> I don't think I had any way of getting to Joanna Newsom. <laughs> I don't know when you got them Do you guys often recommend music to each other? Yeah, we haven't recently. We gotta get back in the yeah. groove. Prepping for a movie, we're always doing that. Yeah, that's back true. And forth, back and forth. What, well, you know, defining what yeah. world we're gonna, we're gonna live in. Okay, so, um, Holy Motors. <laughs> One of my favorite recent movies, the intermission with the, uh, yeah, with, with the, the accordion, accordions. Chorus, yeah. It's one of those moments where you're watching a movie and you remember what movies can do and it's doing something that I haven't seen before. The whole movie is fantastic. Leo Carax, who Leo is Carax. at this moment yeah. making a musical with Sparks. With Sparks. Starring Adam Driver and feels like we're announcing this to the world. No, this is no, this is knowledge. Yeah, uh, yeah, Praxis. we will be first in line yeah, for that. Uh, I only got one movie because I have so many movies at home well, to watch. You don't right need now. any more movies. I don't need any more movies. But then I saw this and I was like, oh, I don't have this, and I need to get it. This is Police Story One and Two. This is Jackie Chan. Criterion put it out, so I know it's gonna have some amazing extras in it, and yeah, I can think just nothing would make me happier than watching some Jackie Chan action. Yeah. Yeah. This is uh, Jay McShann, one of my favorite piano players. I don't actually have this record, but this is my favorite music to put on when friends are coming over. It's like the best version of piano jazz, um, mm -hmm. and I love them. It's Excited. fantastic. See, you're recommending. Right now, right now, I'm telling you what's up. So this is, there's this label, Numero. They basically find kind of dead labels of like soul labels that are like defunct oh. and they find and they restore and they do these beautiful packaging and it's a sort of thing where anytime they release something new, even if I have no idea what it's gonna be, I just, I mean, look at it, it's just Funny. intriguing yeah, it's and it's gorgeous. So this, I was just reading the front of it, I, do, I have no idea, the artist is Jackie Shane, a trans artist who, who's, I guess her, she's, there hasn't been in the past 50 years, like a compilation of her work oh, that was wow. actually sanctioned by like her. And I have no idea what the music is gonna be like, but I know if these guys are putting it out. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be great. I'm coming down, 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 down. Coming down with a heart. Okay, another all-timer for me. This album is LA and London to me yeah. at the same time. I was living in England when I when this came out. Also, they record this whole record on Abbey Road. Oh, did they? Yeah, at Abbey that. Road, which is where we got to go for Knives Out. So, I was say, um, Abbey Road is famous for... For Elliot for, Smith. For, for, for the Knives Out soundtrack. Well... <laughs> <laughs> That's what everyone knows Abbey Road for. That's what everyone for. knows Abbey Road for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, I think this was the first record that he made after he moved to L.A. Great, so, great so good. Okay, so I don't know this record, but this is... Uh, Bartok's music for string instruments, percussion, and celesta. Um, and I'm so excited to, uh, to check this out. My friend recently turned me on to him, and yeah. it's, yeah, it's kind of blowing my mind. Um, but I also haven't heard this uh, collection of instruments before. Nice. Um, and I love the celesta. What kind of instrument is a celesta? It's it's like a piano kind of, it's a keyboard instrument with mallets that hit basically bells. It's this haunting sort of, yeah, 
very pretty instrument. We use it a lot in Knives Out. Uh, do it? We do. We, we do. use it a lot in Knives Out. We <laughs> use it a lot in Knives Out. That's none of your business. A subtle instrument. Not <laughs> everyone may notice. Um, the lesser refined musical ear might not pick it up, but... It's, uh, the, the, when you said, play that high piano louder. <laughs> I think we're done, right? I think that's, is that it? Did we do it? You did it. That's did we great. shop? We shopped. That's what's in our bag. Yeah. <laughs>